it's it's uh, better than a Hellcat. Way better. <laughs> Dude, this color is so sick. I thought it was a wrap as soon as I pulled up. Twin turbo, 10 speed. Good morning, thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush, back at it again. Today, well today, I gotta give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, last night, I don't know why I got carried away, but came into the garage at around, I'd say 12 o'clock, nighttime, right before I fell asleep. Just checking out the car, looking over everything. So yesterday I decided to just to pull the whole front bumper off, see what's going on behind it. That way I can get a better idea of how I can fix the fitment issue. I had some issues on the side where the this side right here wasn't really kind of fitting super nice like I would like it to. And um, well, I found that I have this big intercooler here um, and it was missing one bolt that had fallen out, I'm guessing. Um, it has one on this side, but it was missing the one on this side right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab another one right now from the auto parts store and throw it back on and hopefully that will pull our intercooler up um, and it'll um, maybe you know relieve some stress off the front bumper and we'll get a nicer fitment. I have the jack right here sitting underneath the intercooler because I took the bolts off. I'm gonna take this with me to the auto parts store just so I can grab one like it. And yeah, today I'm gonna drive the S550, which I haven't done in a long time because uh, I need to get some of that E85 moving in it. So let's go ahead and do that. Got our bolt and go by the bolt and then come back put it into the boss and then take the boss over to the shop man the boss has been taking all my attention but i still love this car man this car is amazing so much more refined than the boss in terms of like the interior the drive it's just a lot more comfortable the boss is just a lot more power a lot more of a beast and you know just the feeling of it is very raw this is just way, way nicer to be in. You feel like you're in a luxury car compared to that thing where everything's plastic and, but different purposes, so. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! snap, crackle, pop. Okay, so just like that, we got our new bolts. A uh, dollar each, so I just got two of them so that they both look the same. So now let's go ahead and rush home and get it all installed. Now the fun part, putting the bumper back on. So a bit of patience and we are back to normal. Um, I got a little bit of the bumper feminine issue kind of fixed, but not all the way. And I just realized that I forgot to put on my air filter. So I gotta slap that on real quick before we go anywhere. So just pulled up to the shop, but uh, he's about to go test his car. So I'm just going to hop in real quick and 
you get to experience a twin turbo 10 speed which should be pretty crazy because i've been in one of these in texas are you gonna do uh, any draggy data on it no no because no. i'm not gonna go 60 to 130 it's a little street oh okay I just want to see how much boost it is. it puts up. Okay, cool. Might put that on. Then I, I put bigger wastegate springs on it because I want it to make more boost. Right? And that's uh, that's the thing. You just keep wanting more and more. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't over boost. I have it to cut up at 16. At 16. Okay. You're still stock motor though, right? Yeah, it's still stock motor. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's gambling. You're, you're playing with fire, yeah. Because it made 900 on 9 pounds. 900? Yeah. Fuck. Do you do like a dig or do you do a roll? No, I'm gonna do a roll. Roll. Right here. Was fun guys <laughs> i didn't have my coffee but that was good enough <laughs> <laughs> oh shit well, I did YouTube a video. yeah so um i want you to check it out man yeah yeah you know Maybe watch this this other car here. yeah it's yeah, pretty yeah. sick what is it it's uh you'll see it the hillion no it's another, another car okay so guys we're checking out the engine bay of the car that almost just killed my ass and uh this thing is super sleeper man and they have the bottom mounted i mean all the wiring and stuff makes it look not sleeper because there's a lot going on um but just the turbos are at the bottom underneath the car so do you run into like any heat issues with it being bottom mounted no no they flow air nice Everything down there is. i drive it like 50 miles well 50 miles each way every day i know you daily drive this thing yeah, man so like this 100 is a miles a day daily driven beast i have a wastegate right here and you don't, even have, you don't have a catch can either. Here's yeah, I need to quit a catch can because you can smell all the fumes inside. Nice. But I have space, I can put it right here. Okay, you're using an on three. So is this an on three kit? No, it's a no. custom kit. Oh, custom built, okay. Yeah. Shit. It looks pretty clean in here. Got a lot of wiring going, so. Kinda... It good, that sounds too. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has a sound system? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. All right, guys. So we just got to check it out. He checked out my car. So what would you say, finally, like your your opinion on the car is? Badass. So it's uh, better than a Hellcat. Way better. <laughs> Coming from us, yeah, he might be a little biased because he has a tw uh, twin turbo car too. But this car just hits different, man. Like everyone that sees it, I think the videos don't do it justice, and it's probably my fault because I always tell you guys about the problems and not really about what is going on with it. Um, but you know, soon you guys will see. It's just a matter of time once it's all dialed in and ready to go. We'll start ripping it and having some fun with it. But 
We just noticed I had a boost leak over here. So I gotta work on that when I get home. Just one of these uh, clamps came off a little bit. So that's why it's not building enough boost. Enough boost, I mean over 10 pounds, but it, that's still a lot of boost. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, that's our little update today. He also has this gorgeous um, S550 here that's been painted, not wrapped. It's been painted a uh, purple. You know what the color is called? Yeah, sure. Dude, this color is so sick. I thought it was a wrap as soon as I pulled up, but then he told me it's a paint job and uh, it's insane. So it's got a rush blower on it. It's got the D5, four stars, um, bead locks, which is sick. The uh, clear tail lights here, badass little build. Um, I don't know how much power he's pushing. He's at the Cervini's hood, um, but this car used to be red. You can see kind of in there and now it's this beautiful color. So pretty, pretty wild super sick color i mean i don't think a lot of people that i know would have their cars painted but this guy already has it done and those look amazing so i got to get that for my car so if you know anybody that's selling <laughs> d5 ford stars beadlocks let me know i need to uh i need to pick me up some because my car needs the grip so he's rocking mickey thompson et street r and how wide are these 305 45 17 no rubbing issues, sick. Sick, sick. You're rocking 17s as well? Yes. Okay. Alrighty guys, our little Mustang meetup is done. Homie with the Pro Charger pulled up too. So we just got this car kind of checked out. We got him to check it out. He tunes cars and has a twin turbo car, so I felt kind of comfortable having him see the data log and see how she does. He took me for a ride and that thing scared the living shit out of me but fun day so i was gonna go ahead and end it here fun little video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you drop a like subscribe if you haven't now i'm gonna go home and fix my boost leak because i have a small boost leak one of the couplers is kind of falling off so we got to just get that figured out um and uh, we should be good i mean this thing is still holding like 10 pounds of boost but i want to be able to turn it up a little more than that so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you drop a like subscribe if you haven't support rush catch you the next one peace